FDA has called it an epidemic and now the Jackson County School District is cracking down. Today, the district taking action to stop vaping and drug use at school. Amber Spradley shows us the changes underway. The Jackson County School District is purchasing vape detectors to install throughout its high school and middle school restrooms. It's become more of a serious issue. Superintendent Dr. John Stricker says the problem sometimes goes hand in hand with drug use. With the vaping, there can be drugs through that system. That's why the district is also revamping its drug testing program by now testing students at random. We're not trying to create an environment where everybody's looking over their shoulder, but it's because we care about them and we want to isolate this very serious problem. We have the nice bathrooms down on our hallway down there and it's a uh, everyday struggle. We have boys coming down there, primarily boys going to the bathroom, sneaking in. Two, three boys per stall. Michael Roush teaches history at Van Cleef High. It's generally a red flag for me that, you know, oh, we were just using the bathroom and they come crawling out of there. And I said, well, it doesn't smell like you've been using the bathroom. It kind of smells like some sort of citrusy or, or cotton candy flavor. And the new equipment will notify administrators when it detects vapor, as well as immediately begin video recording. I know there's going to be some critics calling it a, a, an invasion of privacy, but frankly, it, it's it's preventing something that I think is, uh, I mean, so like I said, it's been problematic for years. Any dependency that any of our students would have or any type of addiction a student would have makes learning very secondary. And I want to make sure people know that we care about our children as individuals. Certainly we're measured by academic outcomes, but we care about them as people. In Jackson County, Amber Spradley, WLOX News Now. The vape detectors will be inside the restrooms, but the cameras are in the hallways outside the bathroom doors. The district has already installed the devices in bathrooms, at least at East Central High. As a pilot, Dr. Stricker tells us he's pleased with their effectiveness.